Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a young man named Fern. Fern was 25 years old. He spent his days chopping trees, contributing to society, helping out the local children with their math homework, and just overall being a pretty chill, likable guy. Everyone liked Fern. Fern was cool. You should like Fern. He lived in a small village called Greenville. They weren't talented with naming things, that's for sure. And when the day came for them to set up a second village, they couldn't think of anything else, so they just named it Greenville too. Fern liked to be a team player. He liked to, all right, Fern, come out. Fern, come out, please. Your big scene is coming up, Fern. What are you doing in there? Fern, there you are. Fern liked to be a team player. He liked to help out, and he liked to just do whatever everyone else is doing. And everyone else liked to copy him too. Like for example, this guy right here, this is Fern too, but he's sad because he's unoriginal. It was Fern's weekend, and he could not wait to go to his friend Fern 2's house to watch the new episode of that show. Yeah, you know the one. He doesn't love it. He doesn't hate it. He wishes the writers were a little bit more respectful for the source material, but you know what? He was trying to keep an open mind and enjoying the show for what it is. Unfortunately, before he could start the episode, Tornado blew through town, ripping up the grass, throwing his friends and family around. What did he do? I don't know actually, where did he go? He's gone. He left. He doesn't have time for this. He's inside. What a smart guy. Unfortunately for him, the tornado was around to stay and would continue to throw his friends and family around for the foreseeable future. Maybe so long that this is just how things are now. Eventually, he too got caught in its wake. But lucky for him, he's got plot armor. And him and Fern too. Is this really Fern too? No way. Him and Fern too both got rescued from the tornado by a mysterious force. Meanwhile, the rest of the townsfolk dies a horrible death. Now Fern and Fern too got a little turned around. They weren't exactly sure where they were. The tornado blew them further from town than they'd ever been, and they wandered around in hopes of finding their way back. They wandered so far, they ended up in some sort of mysterious, magical desert. And out of nowhere, a big rat appeared to them and ran away? No, they had a conversation. Fern, Fern 2, and the rat. Hey buddy, wanna buy some desert berries? Desert berries? No thank you, that sounds gross. You wanna buy a magical lamp that'll grant you three wishes? A magical lamp, that's ridiculous. How much? And I'll give it to you for free. It's cursed. You get a free lamp, you get three free wishes, and you get to leave the desert. Everybody wins. Okay, well then I'll take it. Here you go, kid. Enjoy. Fern was a little bit confused. He wasn't sure if this was a normal thing to happen, but he'd never left home before. So maybe there's always talking rats that give out magical lamps. He doesn't really know. Maybe he should have left home sooner. He had a long walk ahead of him to get back home, and he thought, what am I going to wish for? I feel like I've already got everything I want. On his way home, he ran into someone or something. This something smelled a lot like lemonade, which was Fern's favorite drink to drink on a nice hot summer day. Howdy, partner. Hey, you can talk. Of course I can talk. Why wouldn't I be able to talk? I'm a lemon. You're a lemon. Oh, I love lemonade. What do you mean you love lemonade? Oh, it's delicious. Oh my god. You tell me you drink that stuff? You're sick. You're absolutely sick. Fern wasn't really sure what he did wrong, but he decided it was time to leave that conversation. It's pretty weird out here, out in the wild. Fern kind of liked liked it, but he also didn't. Fern decided he'd walked far enough. He stopped near a little pond and decided to ponder his next decision of which three wishes he was going to make. The first wish, he wished he was more attractive. Second wish, he wished he was more lucky. And for his third and final wish, hmm, I'm attractive, I'm lucky, what else do I want to be? Immortal. He thought, I think I'd like to live forever. Pretty smart decision, Fern. There's no way that can go badly. Fern continued his journey through the lemon forest in the direction he thought was home. I just realized that I want to find Fern too, but good luck ever finding Fern too. Hey look, Fern too, no way. Fern made it all the way home and he hadn't eaten in, I don't know, 12 years, so it's time for him to get a little snack. Oh gee, a nice glass of ice cold lemonade sounds pretty good right now. But instead he decided to chop down a tree. What a dedicated working man, you know? Is he really not gonna eat anything? Is he really gonna stand there and starve to death? Fern, you're the main character, act like it. Don't make me intervene, Fern, I don't wanna have to intervene. Fern, please, for the love of God, eat something. Fern, you're stressing me out. Fern, please, it's been literal years. Please eat something. Look, your hair's turning gray. You're aging, Fern. Please eat some food. You joined the army first. Some men would really rather join the army than eat some food. Look at this guy. Fern, 
please. Oh, did you eat something? Was that you? Nope. Someone else. All right. Is he really going to starve to death? Let's fast forward. He ate something. Was that so hard? Good for him. He literally went like eight years of starving to death. He finally got the nutrients he needed. The story may now continue. What's Fern 2 up to these days? Just hanging out. Good for him. So Fern joined the army. He enjoyed his days guarding Greenville with all his mates, keeping everyone safe, and practicing his stick-wielding skills. Something he didn't realize, however, is that his wish for immortality was going to come with some consequences. You see, year after year went by, Fern hanging out in the army, doing his thing. More and more of his friends in the army began to retire. He didn't understand why. He thought, what's the big deal? You're done already? We're just getting started. Eventually, it was an entirely new crew of soldiers, an all new wave of youngsters in the army. Fern wasn't really into that. He used to reference his old TV shows he used to watch. Yeah, you know the one. He tried to watch it with an open mind and enjoy it for what it is, but he really does wish that the showrunners were a little more respectful towards the source material. It's almost like they didn't even read the books, but it doesn't matter because none of these kids had seen the show. And some of these kids were actually in their 40s and 50s. Fern, even though he felt young, he was starting to feel kind of old. Fern's 100th birthday was coming up and he wanted to celebrate it with his friend Fern too, who was also about to celebrate his 100th birthday party. To celebrate, they both walked off in different directions back to their own armies because they have no personalities and all they want to do is run around in circles in the army and eat bread. Fern turned 100. Everyone celebrated his triple digit number and business continued as normal. Eventually, Fern turned 110, then he turned 120. Shortly after that, he turned 130. And I know I said shortly after that, but it was actually exactly 10 years later. And eventually, he turned 140. And I'm sure you get where this is going. He's immortal. Eventually, he turned 150. Fern 2 stayed in the army until the ripe old age of 160. And then one day, he died right there on the beach, right in front of all of his friends in the army. It was a tragic day when Fern heard about his friend passing away. But don't worry, he's gonna have a lot more tragic days. In fact, that's not even the worst of it. I really wish he would leave the army, you know? Because I really want his story to involve more than just being in the army, but that's just kind of how it goes. Eventually, Fern decided to take a break from the army and just go wander the countryside. Maybe go see if that lemon guy is still out there. Just see something new for once. He'd been in the army for over a hundred years now and he was getting tired. It was around this time that Fern discovered there was a war going on between the elves and an orc kingdom up in the north. Oh no, he thought. This is bad. He started to wonder why he'd just been wandering around for a hundred years instead of fighting in the war. It didn't really make sense. But he was here now and that's what mattered. Getting pelted by arrows like he was born to do. Now Fern had become rather powerful during his hundred years in the army and became pretty good at fighting. So little by little, he started to fight back against the orcs. It took him a while, but eventually he killed them all. One by one. Every last one of them. Unfortunately, even after he killed the armies of orcs, he realized even though he was able to stop the armies of orcs, the toll it had on his home was a little bit too much. His favorite burger place was burned down. Fern 2's old home destroyed. The bowling alley was still there though, but Fern wasn't really into bowling. Fern was not happy about this, so he decided to go and talk to the orc leader and tell him what he thought about all this. He marched his way right into the heart of orc territory and demanded to speak to their leader. Their leader didn't want to speak to him, so he decided he was going to have to kill every single one of them, and that's exactly what he did. You see, Fern had become a very powerful warrior in this time, and sure, he was humble, he didn't want to brag, but he was very capable of doing some serious damage, so that's what he did. He began wiping out the orcs, piece by piece, until they were all gone, except for a few stragglers, of course, but he hunted down every last one of them to make sure not a single orc survived. You know, I know we like this guy and all, but it's kind of messed up just how powerful he was, you know? Just completely annihilating an entire civilization because they upset him. Now granted, they started it, or at least that's what we think. I don't know, I wasn't actually there. I don't know if the orcs are bad, if they were the ones that started this thing, or if the elves were bad. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the elves took the orcs land. We don't know. We just like Fern because we know him. Fern hunted the orcs across the land to make sure not a single one of them survived. He didn't want to see them. He didn't want to smell them. He just wanted peace and quiet. The last surviving orcs, he destroyed their home, 
and he killed them, and then he ate some bread. It was at this moment that a familiar voice was heard. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 buddy, what are you doing? What do you mean? I gave you that lamp because I thought it was cursed. I didn't think it was actually going to grant you three wishes. Well, it did, and I wished for immortality. Yeah, I can see that. I just never thought you were going to go and wipe out an entire species after that. Otherwise, I would have never given you the lamp. Fern killed the rat. Fern went home and decided to go back to the army and once again keep the land safe because gosh darn it that's the one thing he was good at and even though these youngsters didn't know about his favorite show you know the one he still became rather fond of them and you know what these young people ain't too bad he thought to himself maybe they can teach me how to do that silly dance Fern lived a full life. He made friends, he made enemies, he helped the people he loved, and he protected those that needed protection. He was satisfied. He was ready to die happy. The problem is, in case you forgot, the guy wished for immortality. So he's gonna live forever. Literally, centuries will go by. Everyone he knows and loves will die over and over and over again. New generations will be born. He'll make connections, make friends, and then he'll watch them grow old and die all while feeling the same. A literal hell on earth. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.